So today's optical illusion is more of a tunnel or it could be a bunch of cone shapes that all connect in the middle. Depends on your perspective. So the first thing you need to do is follow through these five steps on the practice box. So I'm going to draw a circle first or a little dot then use ruler to draw a T shape. And if your dot is not perfectly in the middle, it'll be a little obvious. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, but if you notice when you draw your line that you could adjust it, you can if you want. Okay, the next one is to add two more lines to make an X. Now if I connect the corners, it may or may not go through the dot, so make sure whichever, whatever diagonal you make, your lines will go through the dot, even if it doesn't go through the corners. So start by lining the corners up and see, so this dot's a little covered, so I'm going to move it just a tiny bit, so they all go through. Next I'm connecting my curved lines. So I'll start with an arch on one of these little triangles and then move to the next one and do another arch. They're not all going to be very even. Don't worry about it if they're, if they're not, it's okay. Then I'll do the second layer, making sure that the last line touches where I left off. Notice I'm not going around all at once because I'll end up not connecting exactly where the line meets. And you do need to make sure that your arch connects with each line. When you come to the ends, just pretend that the line keeps going. Use your imagination to skip the areas that won't be seen anymore. And if it becomes very uneven on one side, you may need to adjust. All right, and then for the practice, the last step is to add shadow. And the shadows will be right where all of those lines were. It'll be darkest right on the line, and then as you get further away on one side, it'll get lighter. And then on the other side, make it lighter as well. Notice where my fingers are on the pencil. I'm holding it about halfway up so I don't push too hard when I'm shading. I can press harder in the beginning and then it's easier when I go to press lighter to get light shadows. Try and keep your shadows long so they look like they're the shape of the cone. And leave the middle of each of these little triangles white. So it looks like that's where the light is hitting it. When you're finished, get a final paper and start your tunnel again. When you get your final paper, it'll be a much bigger square. You may need a larger ruler to get your straight lines all the way across. If you're not comfortable with a larger ruler, you can use a small one. You just need to slide it. I realized my dot was a little to the side, so I just adjusted my line. So well, I can see that it didn't quite match up with my corners, uh, but that's all right. It'll still create the same illusion. Start in the middle and make your smaller arches. If it helps to rotate your paper, do that. Go one at a time. Do not do them all at once. 
Another benefit to going slower is that last one, if you go too fast by the time you get back around, it won't connect to the first arch you made. So I can see here and here, they're pretty even because I took my time. Same thing, when you get to the edge, you may need to skip parts of the design that go off the page. Just like before, we will need to add shadows, but before we add shadows, we're gonna add some color. Pick a color marker you would like to work with and start tracing every other shape and coloring it in with that marker color. I'm using my marker like a paintbrush, using long lines going the same direction. And if there's bits that I've missed, I can always go back and cover them up. Once you're done with your first shape, when you move to the next ones, you're going to trace and color the opposite shape. Now before I add shadow, I do have a little bit of a pencil line that got messy, so I'm going to erase that real quick. And today I'm using a black colored pencil. If you have just finished coloring and your paper is a little wet, you may want to give it a second to dry. Write your name on the back. And then we're going to do the same thing we did on the packet where we make the shadow real dark right in between two of the shapes and then as we get closer in shade lighter and lighter black color pencil provides a much nicer looking shadow than just pencil so I would recommend using a black color pencil just make sure that you slowly and gradually lighten your pencil up. Don't just make a dark line and then a light line and that's it. Make sure that each side of the shape gets a little bit of the dark shadow before you start lightening it up. Your shadow should fill most of each shape. The middle section is the only place there should be some white. And make sure to do it on both sides. If you're having trouble pressing lightly, another way that you can add lighter lines is just by drawing each line instead of coloring back and forth. It'll also help from your pencil not getting caught when you go to color back if you're just drawing down lines. 